Hi everybody! Hope everybody is doing well today. This is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of different things. Little um, uh, process videos, flip throughs, haul videos, that type of thing. And I've just kind of started um, doing some different things on different days of the week. I don't know how long it'll last. I'm trying to put um, three to four videos up a week which is a lot, but I'm going to try and stick with that. Um, today is Fun Friday, which I consider a day where I just get things out and play with them. Um, things that I've been wanting to do, things that I like to do. Um, I recently had, actually it wasn't that recent, I actually, I think it was right around Christmas time, I bought this silicone little round mat thing. And it's for the wax seals, you know, to do the wax seal deal. And I haven't used it yet, and I just tried it a little while ago, and I did a couple of them. Where did they go? And I really like how they turn out, um, because whenever I tried to do wax seals, they would just, they never turned out right. Um, not that I want them to be perfect, you know, I want them to look realistic or whatever, you know, which are not perfect. But mine would be just a blob and, and spread all over and that kind of thing. And um, so I got this little thing here. And it came with um, these little, and I haven't used these. These are like, a, let me open it up. These are little stickers that you can put on the back of a wax seal. So, um, you know, if we want to do that, we can do that. Um, I I don't know that I'm going to do that, though. Because, quite honestly, um, well, I guess it'd be all right. So, you would basically, I guess, put this on the back of your wax seal that you've done. And then peel off the back sticky part, which I cannot seem to do on this thing. But it does come off. So I can feel it separating. It's just harder to do than I thought it would be. There we go. Yeah, and it's really, it's a, it's like a, um, oh, I don't know what you call it, a uh, glue dot is what it is. So it's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. So that's what that does. Um, I'm going to put that there for now. Um, anyway, I kind of wanted to try that. And I also bought, earlier around Christmas time, this is a little alcohol lamp. And the reason I got that is when I was doing uh, wax seals before, I was using like this little candle thing that they give you. You know, like that. And it kept going out, and it would burn, you know, I was trying to make a, quite a few of them, and it would burn, and we'll try both of them, but honestly, I want to see this thing, how it works. And the way you do this, this is, it comes here, I'll show you, with a bunch of these little wicks, um, and I'll, if I can find it, I'll link this below. It came with a, quite a few of these little wicks, and this little stopper, and um, I put... 80% uh, alcohol in there, which you can buy at any drugstore, um, 90%. I, I don't know, it might work with less, like, you know, with maybe 70%. Anyway, so I did that, and I made sure I wet the wick a little bit, um, so that it will, here, I probably need to do it again, because it's been a while since I, and came with these little droppers, so, anyway, um, it came with a, a little cup that you can pour stuff in there or use this little thing here. And then I guess this is to, you know, blow it out or whatever. Um, this was separate from that. They're two separate things. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to check this out and try it today. I'm going to kind of put this over here. And I have a whole bunch of these little, um, the seal things. Um, I bought different ones at different times, and I probably haven't even used half of them. But part of the reason, I think, is that 
to get out all the stuff to do it, you know, when you think about it, oh, I wished I had a seal here. So I'm kind of, I, you know, it takes a lot. So I think probably um, I'm going to try and make a few so that I can uh, maybe stock up on them. And I thought maybe you might want to join me with this. And I'm going to try a few different things with this. Some different techniques and different things that I'm going to do. Let me move that over a little bit. So what I'm going to do, this is a little lighter thing that I bought. And let's see, I hope it works. Yeah, it's getting low. I need to charge it. But you charge it and it has like a little electronic thing on here. I really like it. I use it for candles and stuff too. But anyway, so this thing's um, going. And I've got my little spoons here. Um, let me get some paper towels out. Because I might need some. All right. So what I'm going to do is I've got a couple of these little, I have these, I don't have a lot of these and I actually like this better because I had bought the candle deals. So I'm going to use what I have, but I'm going to put a couple of these, basically you just put them in there and you melt them. So we're going to do that. And I just found that, um, the little candle thing kind of took a little bit longer than I wanted and I'm impatient so anyway I'm just going to do that and it might take three I might try another one it doesn't look like that's going to be enough let's see if I can find another one that's open already because I don't know if I can do that with one hand yeah there's a cup here's another one right there um Anyway, so what I want to do is just go ahead and melt these. So I have three of them in there. And it's a pretty, the reason I like this is that I kind of think, um, probably need to wipe that out a little bit because it got a little messed up earlier. Um, is it melts it a lot quicker. And I think a lot more evenly. All right, that's probably melted enough because even though that middle piece isn't melted that great, it'll melt in here. So I'm going to pour this in here. And you've got a little bit of time. See, I, I might have been able to do one more. So I make sure I get a lot of it out of there. And I just leave that burning. And this is a silicone mat that I'm using. So um, it works with that. So I'm going to just, I don't even know, I'm just trying this. And I'm going to smush it down. And what's good about this now, see, if I had to put one more in there, it would fill it up. This time I'm going to do four, I think, and see how that works. And I just leave it over there. I just leave it sitting there. Um, you don't have to let it stay that long, but you want to make sure that it's somewhat, um, you know, somewhat uh, cooled off before you pull it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do four of them this time because I think we probably need four. And I'm going to pull that off. Oh, well, I think it needs to sit a little bit longer. Because the side of it is not... It still turned out pretty good. I like these because it holds its shape really well. And, you know... And one thing, too, when you make these, if you don't like the shape or how it turns out, you cut it up and remelt it. That's what I do. But that one's good enough for me. So I'm going to melt this. See how quick it melts with this little burner? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and it comes with a little stopper to uh, plug this up. Like, so if you don't want to take the alcohol out after. Okay. That is probably enough. And now I have four of them in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so four is the magic number, I think. Right? And I'm letting that drip out of there. And I'm going to... I'm just randomly picking them up. I have no idea what's what. And so I'm just going to go kind of in the middle. And what that does, is you can see, it goes... It goes to the edges but it still keeps it round it doesn't splurt out all over 
So I think four of those is probably the right amount. <coughs> here I have some pink ones here. Let me try those. Oh gosh. I didn't open these before and it's one of those kind of things that's going to give me a really hard time opening. You know? So I hope everybody is doing well this Friday. We have finally um, gotten some reasonable weather. Everything started to melt. People could drive. So, all right, let's try that. And I've got another spoon here. Um, and I'll tell you how to clean those out real easy. Just melt it down a little bit and wipe it out with a paper towel. But, you know, let it cool off a little bit because you don't want it to be too hot. I have two spoons because I, I think I bought two different kits at one time. Um, I got a few of these on Amazon, a few of them from AliExpress. Um, the ones from AliExpress were super cheap, but um, they took a while to get here. Even the ones on Amazon, though, really, they were not, they were pretty inexpensive. And Sometimes they came in a box like this, like these have some extra ones in there, but they'll come in like a box like this and they'll have, well I won't use that one because it's still in there, but that like that and they'll have a, a bunch of different um, tops like this and then you can just untwist them and it's hard, I can't do that with one hand, but I'll show you in a minute. Um, you can just untwist them and then that way um, you can just um, put different tops on there. So here we go. Let me do this one. So we put four in there. Yeah, I think four is the right amount for that. So I am going to just pick up this and I'm going to do that. And see how it just kind of stays right in that circle. And then this one I'm going to lift up and see how it's just it really does do a great job. So, and the sides are going to be, the more you squish down, the bigger the sides are going to be, which I think that's okay, but if I wanted to redo that, I really probably don't want them that big. I can cut that up in pieces, and I can totally remelt that. So let's get my gold one out again and I can just put those pieces back in there. You want it small enough that it fits inside but um, so let's just remelt those. You can see how easily you can do that. So if you if it, it gets messed up and you don't like it, just redo it. But I find I like this better than the candle. Um, we can do one with the candle too, then you can see. But I just think it takes a little bit longer with the candle. You just get a bigger flame with this. All right, so that's probably, if that happens, if it catches on fire, don't worry about it. Just blow it out. It'll be fine. Just be aware of the fact that it could do that. All right. So now I'm going to, I let it cool off a little bit because it's a little bit too hot. I'm going to pull this one off that I just did. And there you go. So that turned out pretty good. Um, Alright, so I am going to go ahead and do the one that we just did. And I'm only going to, and I'm not even really smushing down. I'm just laying this on top. So the weight of it will push down on it. All right, so let's do some of these wax pieces. So I have a ton of these, and I really, honestly, um, the way these are supposed to work is, let me show you. You're supposed to, here, let me just, I'll try the green so you can see that. You light this up. And it's a candle basically 
and then you just hold it over here and you and it drips okay I'll do it on this one so hopefully you can see but it takes forever which I just don't have the patience for that see look how slow that is So, anyway, this is what I decided to do, is I take these, and I just decided I don't, I don't want, I, I've already bought them, so I don't want to have to reinvest in them. So I have been cutting these, and these just come like that. You can see the wick on there. And I'm not cutting through the wick, but you can. It's not a big deal if you do. So anyway, I'm just going to take a couple of pieces of this that I cut. And I'm only doing this because I already have these. Now I want to clean this out, so let's see. I'm going to heat it up just a tiny bit. I don't want it super hot, but I want it warm enough that I can take a paper towel and just wipe out the the inside of this because it's not super hot it's just you know enough it's just hot enough to get this whole inside cleaned out and it, it cleans out really easily so I'm going to take these green ones and put them in there so the candle thing just it was taken I mean this thing this candle thing was taking too long and this candle here I'll show you this Look at that flame versus this flame, okay? Yeah, this works, but it takes absolutely forever, okay? So I kind of got bored with that, too. So anyway, look how fast that this melts. It's like 10 times faster than doing this little candle. But since I already have this wax, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to I'm just gonna cut it. And I just used my um, Tim Holtz scissors. Um, it's, not, it's not hard to cut. And I just, I'm approximating, you know, how much I need. So we're just going to let that get nice and hot. And it's pretty much the same wax. It's not really much different. So it's not any different. It's just colored wax. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to move that so you can see it over here. I'm going to put that in there. It looks like I probably could have used a little bit more, but that'll, that'll be enough. I'm going to let it cool off just a little bit. I think I'm going to wipe that out because I'm going to try a different color next time. Wait for it to cool off a little bit before you try and wipe it. And then I would definitely like make sure that you have enough of your paper towel in there so that you don't burn yourself. All right. Let's see. I don't know. I'll do this tree. How about that? So I'm just going to put it in the middle and then just do that. I'm not pushing. I'm not smushing down. I'm just laying it there. So um, let's do this hot pink one. How about that? So I'm going to do one more like that and then I'm going to try some other things. You can take it from the bottom so we're not cutting the wick off. And all I'm doing is cutting just a little piece. And it cuts pretty easy, so it's not like it's, you know, hard to do. If a little bit of the wick gets in there, don't worry about it because we can, I have some tweezers, you can just pick it out when it's in the little deal. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a tiny bit of the wick there. I'm not worried about that. Okay, so this is the one I just cleaned out. This has a little bit more wax in it, so let's see if it works out. A little better so I'll try the rose this time on that on the hot pink so anyway yeah my husband was out of town he came back and it kind of helped me out today because I could get a few things done my oldest son staying with us and he has his two dogs two golden retrievers and I have mine and you know you kind of keep an, you have to keep an eye on them because I don't know 
they they don't get in too much trouble but here I'm going to try a different section of this so you can see better I'll just try right here and there is a little piece of the wick in there so I'm going to pull it out with some tweezers no big deal okay get that off of there so I can all right and then I'm just going to go ahead and take this and put it in the middle and that one I can tell probably could have used a little bit more wax but that's okay I don't mind them not perfect I just don't like them so misshapen that you know yeah now see I like this is the one we cut up and redid so I like that and then here's the green one so let's try a movie I'm trying to do different ones um, let's try another color how about this blue oh and this turquoise I like that too let's try that um, and you don't want to make too many big uh, pieces because um, it takes longer to melt if you have like a big chunk but honestly it'll still work so you saw how long I had that sitting out and it was still warm enough to wipe that out so you want to give it some time and I have some shears that would probably work good on this too but anyway I'm making these pieces just a little bit bigger and like I said if you want to use the little pellet things that would probably work the best but I bought these thinking this would be the easiest way um, so heads up on that I mean they it works don't get me wrong but it just takes forever so I'm gonna melt this and I will probably put it over here and there's gonna be a couple pieces of the wick in there but that's okay and see I started cutting them from the bottom that way if you want to use it as a candle later you can um, I'd show you that I guess I could show you but it just it takes forever I could speed it up but then you wouldn't realize how slow it is um, and I showed you this other candle how small the flame is on that so it does take a really long time so part of the reason I haven't done these is because I would get frustrated because it's like okay this is taking forever but this works way faster so all right and even when it's like not completely melted if you just let it sit there it's going to melt now be careful because this is a pretty big flame and you know you don't want things to catch on fire and you don't want to burn yourself obviously it's not a children's craft for sure all right okay so that is that and then I do have the silicone mat this is what I use my meat I love these mats so there's all different kinds out there but I mean I just love the, the kind of mats in general so I'm taking that wick out so I don't have to mess with that and let's see what did I decide I was gonna do I don't know I don't know okay I'll do the T for Tina and I'm just going to put it in the middle and I'm not smishing down okay this one obviously is done and that turned out really pretty I think I'll do another rose one alright the other thing I wanted to show you guys um, and let me wipe this one out in case we want to use a different color I think I'll wipe the other one out too because we're going to probably do a couple colors um, I wanted to try something and I have not tried this yet so we shall see if it works or not I'm gonna melt this a little bit just so I can wipe it out because I left it there for a little bit right I don't want to get it too hot because I don't want to burn myself but I do want to be able to wipe it out and I'm just taking a paper towel making sure I don't touch it with my hand 
And the bottom of it is going to be tarnished and everything, but that doesn't matter. Alright, so that's wiped out. Okay, so now um, I want to use, I think I'll use this blue color. And I'm going to cut up some pieces of that. I think I'm going to do bigger pieces and see um, if it still melts okay. And of course, you know, obviously if you have little pellets, you just drop them in there. And I am going to do some more of those, so hold on. I only have two colors of those, so I don't know what. I ordered these, and they came in all these different colors, so I figured I'll use them. Before I buy other ones, I'll just go ahead and use these. But I wanted to show you the pellets, because that would be a better way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to melt this. Go ahead and take this off in a minute. Well, I'll wait a second. I'll just turn it around for now. And we're going to try something else that's a little different. Going to wait for this to melt. A lot of waiting around for this, so I may speed some of this up. Um, or we may just chit chat. Because it is Fun Friday. Anyway, I'm intending to make quite a few of these because I had been wanting to take this out. I bought it and I this is the first time I've used it and that's kind of what my want my fun Fridays to be to try new things, experiment with new things, try new products um, and you know try making and doing different things. I don't know about you, but I get kind of bored doing the same thing. Okay, so even though there's a little lump in there, it is still super, super hot. You don't want to spill this on yourself either. That's another thing. So, oh, I love that turquoise color. That is really pretty. Okay, so I am going to... Which one am I going to take? I'll just take this one. It's like a star type thing. And I am going to put that on there. And I like it when it's not perfect. So, but this thing will go if it's full all the way to the edges. Okay, so I'm going to undo this turquoise one. Oh yeah, I like how that turned out. It's really pretty. I love that color. Um, Alright, so I do have quite a few of them, but I do want to show you one of the things that I wanted to do. I'll let that dry a little bit more. I'm going to try this same color. Um, yeah, I'm going to try the same color because I want to show you something. Let's see if I can. There we go. All right. I think that'll be enough. It is going to have a wick part in it, but that's okay. Again, I'm going to try the same thing because I'm going to show you something in a minute. I have a little bit of this glitter. This is a very fine glitter. I think I just bought it at Walmart, but you can get this anywhere. Um, I'm going to try putting some glitter in here in a minute. So, probably should have opened. I'm doing everything one handed here. So, here I'm going to put that down for a minute because I'll have to redo it because I really only want a tiny, tiny bit. I think what I want to do take just a little bit of glitter and I'm going to sprinkle the glitter in here and I may put a little bit more later let's see I don't think I can get that wick out yet yeah I need to let that melt a tiny bit more I just want to see how this looks. Pull that out. Yep, there we go. That's what's great about working on this mat. I don't have to worry about putting anything hot on there. I'm going to put a little bit more glitter on there. Oop, it's all kind of in the middle. 
I think when I smish it down it'll separate. All right, so it's kind of kind of bubbling the glitter. So this is kind of a little experiment here. So let's try it over here so you can see it. I'm going to put that in there with the glitter. All right. It's pretty hot. Okay. Then I'm going to take a little bit more glitter. Kind of put it in there. Oop, I think I put too much, but that's okay. We'll see what happens. All right, let me see. I don't know. Oh, I, I got, this is a moon. Let's try that. Let's see how it looks. I think I put too much in there, but we shall see. All right, let's try another one. This time we'll make it easy. And I will do the gold ones. And we decided it was four, right? So... And then, let's see, I have some, this is, I think, from the Dollar Tree. And this is a, I'm making a mess with the glitter. This is purple. I'm going to wait to put the glitter in there a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let me move this over so you can see me doing it. I'm trying to make sure I get everything in frame here so you guys can see. So we're just going to melt these. And and when these are done, you don't have to take them off right away. It's not going to hurt anything if you leave them. Um, when it's done, it's done. So All right. The pellets are definitely easier, but it, you know you're just really avoiding one step. And like I said, I can order pellets, but I want to. I really want to use what I have. That's kind of my uh, mantra for this year. I mean, I am going to get you know new products here, here and there to try them out. But if that does happen, just blow it out. Okay. Let me move this over. I'm going to try it on this side, so because I have to take those off. And I'm going to put that, let's see, right here. But I'm going to put the glitter in there with it. So i got to put that down. And then I want to put a little bit of glitter everywhere. Oop, there we go. And then, let's see, what do I want to do? I have, I will do two, I don't know, I, how about the T, we'll do that. Alright, so I'm going to take these off, and they come right off when they're done, so don't, you know, alright, well, I can see a problem with this. You can see that um, you can see the design in there, but you really can't see it that well because I have so much glitter in there. So, gonna maybe have to do something else. Maybe I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna redo it and do it differently. Right? So. We will try something different. Yeah. Alright. So I think maybe, here I'll, I'll just try a little bit of this in here. And then I'm going to put that in there. And so I'm just not going to put that much glitter in it. And maybe I'll mix it up a little bit before I... Um, before I melt it. <laughs> and that's kind of what my fun Fridays are going to be, guys. I'm just going to experiment with things and bring you all along for the ride. I haven't tested this out ahead of time. So I don't know how it's going to work. 
and I am going to try some other things too so we will do that in just a minute um, I just thought about that because I have my little glue gun there but I do want to test this out I will tell you though, this is a lot faster than than either the candle, you know, either doing it with this candle with the pellets or just using one of these candles because either one of those takes it takes forever and I was like, I'm not I'm not going to do this if it takes that long. I just don't have the patience for it. So, um yeah, so I think this is gonna this will do it I like doing this this doesn't bother me there we go so if it catches on fire all right so that's really hot and there's already some gold in there so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of move it around get it all over and then what I think I'm gonna do oh no wait I used purple on that didn't I I'm just take a little bit of this and move it around Oops, I keep spilling stuff. Yeah, I just keep blobbing it too much, I think. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it a little bit. Let's see how that works. Alright, so I stirred it around there a little bit. I think if it gets too far in the wax, it's going to lose its little glistening. Not to mention I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Alright, so let's try that. I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I just don't think it turned out the way that in my brain it was going to work. Let's try this one here. Okay, so I think I like this one better. This was the T. But, you know, it distorts the whole thing a little bit. So, eh. I don't know, guys. Um... Let's see here. All right, let's let that dry. And then I have another um, thing here. I have a, a glue gun and I have bought, where did they go? These little things from, they were from um, the dollar store and I've never tried them. And they are meant to uh, use to melt wax to, you know, for, uh, for your wax. I don't think I put any in there. I don't even know what kind of wax is in there now. So let's see if I hope it fits in there. Alright, that's just plain wax. I'm going to try that. Let's see what happens. Let's get the rest of the plain wax out, right? There we go. Let's get it all out. There we go. Look at that. So that's all of that. And I've got the plain wax there. I'm going to try some of the glitter in that. I was going to do that anyway, but it just kind of pushed me in that direction. That's probably more than I need. Alright, and let me try the rose. I'll try that. And this is just clear. All that is is plain old, um, not wax, but um, a glue gun. So now I have a red um, red one in there, and I'm going to let that heat up a little bit. So let's try this and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that turned out a little better. But, you know, honestly, eh, right? Okay, so I think maybe uh, not putting the glitter in. Uh, you know, it's all right, but it's not, I don't know, not, I probably would chop those up, just smush them down and, you know, maybe reuse them. Who knows? And this is drawing here, so I'm going to go ahead and, let me put the top on this. Well, I'll move the glitter over because I don't know where the top, oh, here's the top. Okay, good. Where's the top to this one? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Because I don't want um, glitter going everywhere. 
All right, so that's should be almost done. Here we go. Look at that, guys. Now I put the glitter in, but you really don't have to. But um, your glue gun works great for making these. So this is just regular old glue from your glue gun. So let's just try and see if this is warm enough now. Well, there's some red in there with the regular, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I don't know how, long, how much it takes. I'm just guessing. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and Smush that and see. I think that's going to turn out good. We'll try that out. All right, and then let me. I'm going to blow this out. Oh wait, where's the little thing? It came with this little thing. There you go. Works, doesn't it? And it did come with the stopper. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. So that you could. Um, you know, put this in to, you know, take this out. Oops, still warm. Um, and then put this in and then put the top over it and then it twists on. So, but I'm going to move it over here for a minute. And I just want to see how this turns out. All right. I think that's, let's see how that looks. This is still a tiny bit warm tiny bit but we're in a hurry right so okay so that was mixed with regular but I think it turned out really cool so let's try I'm gonna put another red one in there just because I think the colors are gonna mix otherwise so let's try another one here I'm trying to get some of this glitter out of there I'll probably have to wash it out um, hopefully this will work Let's see how much it takes. And I'm wondering, I think you could use probably regular um, glue and then mix it with glitter. Why not? I don't, I don't see why that wouldn't work. I don't think I have enough in there, so we'll probably have to do it again, but we shall try. And that's what's good about this thing. When you smush it down like that, when you don't have a lot, at least it still makes it um, round. So one of the other things I kind of wanted to show you um, is, here I'll move this over and we'll try another one in a minute. But you know what I think I want to do too? I'm going to take my regular glue gun. I got my new one now. Now this thing gets hot, 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 quick, okay? So I'm going to try regular glue. Let's plug that in and see how that works in a minute. Because I want to see how that works if you mix it with glitter. Alright, so I have, um, these are just metallic cream pastes. And we can take those and just add some, you know, just a little bit of color to these so that we can see. Let's see, I don't want to do it the same. Uh, how about if I do this one copper? And this is just a, a metallic. And I'm putting a little bit on my finger. And this is just so that when you go to do this, you can see. Eh, it doesn't really work really good. I think it needs to be more of a contrast. So let's try the red. So I'm going to try some of the red. Kind of made more of a brown with that, mixing the two, but you still can see the crown better. So that gives you a little bit of idea what it does. It gives you a kind of a, let's try this. We've got a star. We can do maybe some blue. all that I'm doing around the edges too a little bit so what that does is it allows you to see the design a little better if you want to 
do it like that. Um, I think that's kind of cool. Here's that clear one that we did. And before we think, oh, that's just probably not worth anything. My painting finger here is starting to get a little bit too much. I'm going to have to wipe it off so I can get um, a little bit of that going on. So let's try. I did some before. So there's a little, uh, uh, what do you call it, rose. And then I did a star there. I haven't done this. I don't know what to do with that. Um, I don't know. Maybe red. Let's try that. You know what it is, is that there's so many colors mixed in there. It's not coming out the right color, so it's making it more brown than red, which I don't really like. But, oh well. Anyway, I think I'll go over that with another color later. But, my point is, is that there's one with some gold. Let me try this. I'm going to try this with some gold. Yeah, so even this one that we did with the glue gun, um, it looks kind of cool. Right? So, here's another one. Let's try some of these. Wipe off my finger. When you get enough different colors on there, it just turns out to be brown. So, let's try that. Oh yeah, that turned out good. Look at that. See? Yeah. I like that. Okay. So that just really kind of, you know, makes it look a little bit fancier. Um, I really like that. And then I think this one I'm going to just take it and make it silver. Do I have a silver that's lighter? I don't know. Oh yeah, I do in this one. Just have to try a different finger. Because I think mixing all the fingers is not working. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Even though we're still mixing them. Alright. Anyway, so I think that the, it really um, helps them out a lot. So... I won't do them all, so you get the idea with that. Um, Alright, so let's try. I'm going to pull this one up. This is the other one we did with the glue. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know, you can't really see the glitter. It kind of does the same thing as I think once it mixes with the glue or the wax, it, you know, you lose your little, you lose the shine of the glitter. But I mean, you can see it. Um, I would, you know, I mean, I, I would not use that. It's just that, you know, you can't really see the glitter that much. So let's try. So I'm going to try this, and I'm going to put, actually just put some glitter in it and mix it. So this is just uh, regular hot glue. Nothing special, just run-of-the-mill hot glue. I'll go ahead and put enough of that in there. Let me put that. Oh, I don't think it's hot enough yet. Hold on. There we go. That's enough. There we go. Definitely enough there. And then, here, I'm going to move this over here because I don't want to burn myself. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of... Um, oh, that melted that. Interesting. I'm going to put a little bit of the glitter in there. Well, I guess a lot of glitter. I didn't mean to put that much in there. Let me go ahead and mix it up with this spoon. Right? As much as I can. I just want to evenly distribute it. So it's similar to the little glue that, um, you know, the little things that I had. So I'm trying, I, and I need it to stay reasonably warm because I still want to put the thing in there. Okay, so I'm going to 
get this off of here. And then I'm going to take something. I'll just do the rows again. And, and because you've got this round tray, I think I'm going to be able to do this. So I'm going to put that in there and let it sit for a second. Right? Let it dry. And see what it does. See if we can make our own little thing. And then here we have this, oh, there's, well, we might as well use that then. Here, I'm going to put a big blob. Move that out of there. Let's see how that works. And then these just came from the dollar store. I don't know if you get other ones. If for some reason, like, they maybe they'll work better. I don't know. They might. Um... They might work better. Who knows? Let's see. And they only came in the smaller size, so I don't really know. Let's see which one I want to use here. Yeah. I'll just use the crown. And I want to make sure there's enough in there. There we go. So we're just going to let those two sit for a minute and check that out. And then see how that goes. And then that's pretty much it. That's all I had. I didn't really um, have much more. I just wanted to play with these today. I was going to, I took them out. I thought, oh, I want to make some of these for the journals I'm making. And um, I was going to make some envelopes. So I'm not, you know, I think these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt those down again and just kind of mix the glitter in those. And I might like them better, you know. So this is just a plain one. I'll show you that. Okay. And then here's one that I just put a little bit of silver on. So I like both, both of them. And then here's some more. But I do like this. I definitely think this is worth it. I'll put the link below. Um, it just does make it a lot easier. Now this is the one that I did with the glue gun right there. Let me see if I can find one that's just like it so you can compare. Okay, so there's the glue gun and that's with the red. And it's kind of translucent. And then here's the one with the uh, the pink wax and then I put gold on each one so you can kind of see them right so that's just you know um, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to try something but we shall see all right I'm gonna take this off because I think it's done and this is the uh, red that we've already done one time and it, I mean it turns out pretty good it's not bad you know, you definitely could use that. Um, you know, I don't think there's anything. Um, you can see the glitter in it a little bit, but, you know, I don't think it's a bad look. Now, this is the one that we did with the regular glue. And is that warm enough, I think, or cool enough? I think it is. Boy, oh boy, let me tell you something. This is really on there. I think it's because my um, glue gun gets so hot. I don't know. It's not coming off. Well, lesson learned. You don't want it too hot. Now, I can easily heat this up and get the whole thing off of there, probably. Hopefully. Wow, okay. The other one came right off of there. So this is regular glue, and I don't know if it heats up at a different temperature, maybe. Let us see. I don't know if I can pull that off. Well, there you go, guys. What does that tell you? I, I will tell you this. That glue gun that I have heats up very, very um, hot, so... Maybe you have to use a low temp, because this is a low temp glue gun here, and that was a high temp. So there we go. 
So we learned something there. It's coming off, but it's not going to be easy. So do not use a high temp glue gun. Use a low temp. So we learned things together and we had some fun, I hope. And I hope you guys are doing okay. And um, yeah, I think I like that. And I would definitely, I'm glad I, I got that. And I will tell you one thing, this little alcohol burner thing, definitely a plus because um, the biggest reason I didn't use my wax seals is that it was just taking way too long. And um, yeah, so see that's what the low temp. So that came right off, no problem. So definitely use a low temp. That was high temp, this is low temp. Now I can change the temperature on this gun so I could definitely do that. Um, and try that and I will and I'll let you know how it goes but I'm guessing it'll it'll be just fine because you know it's not the glue that's the difference it's the temperature of the glue so all right guys we'll see you again next time and um, you take care bye